We've touched on base-mediated aldol reactions already, but let's take a quick look at the acid-catalyzed aldol condensation, which involves the enol tautomer of the nucleophile rather than an enolate, which can't exist under acidic conditions. These reactions universally lead to condensation products because the elimination of water is also ca catalyzed by the acid used to catalyze the aldol addition process. And I want to take a look now at our first example of what we might call a mixed or crossed aldol reaction between two different aldehyde or ketone reaction partners. One has actually two saturated alpha carbons with multiple alpha hydrogens on each, but the other lacks hydrogens connected to its alpha carbons. So in fact, it's an aldehyde, benzaldehyde, whose alpha carbon lacks alpha hydrogens. If we expand the phenyl group, we would see no hydrogens linked to the carbon that's linked to the carbonyl group. And the other side is a hydrogen. So this molecule has no alpha hydrogens. And the important conclusion we can draw from that is that it cannot possibly form an enolate. This means that benzaldehyde, this molecule without the alpha hydrogens, is necessarily acting as the electrophile in this reaction. While methyl ethyl ketone, which does have alpha hydrogens and therefore is enolizable, in other words, can form an enolate, is serving as our nucleophile. And in fact, we can see that in the structure of the aldol condensation product. Notice that this carbon that I've highlighted in blue is the carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde. And the more substituted alpha carbon of methyl ethyl ketone, which I'm highlighting in red, is the nucleophilic carbon in the aldol condensation process. Mechanistically, the first stage of this reaction involves tautomerization of the nucleophilic partner to form an enol intermediate. And this reaction is thermodynamically controlled. Typically, it's run at elevated temperatures with catalytic amounts of acid that encourage formation of the thermodynamic product. And that's one that's derived from the more substituted and therefore more stable enol tautomer. Here, that's the one that involves enolization at the more substituted alpha carbon, the alpha carbon in the ethyl group, rather than the methyl group. At the same time, the catalyst protonates the electrophilic carbonyl oxygen. Here, the oxygen of benzaldehyde, which acts as the electrophile. And in the key elementary step, we have the addition of the nucleophilic enol to the electrophilic protonated carbonyl. So from the enol's perspective, this looks like association of an electrophile to the enol alpha carbon. But from the protonated carbonyl's perspective, this looks like a nucleophilic addition process with the nucleophile, the enol, adding to the carbonyl carbon. Whatever we choose to call it, the product that we end up with is the conjugate acid of the aldol addition product. And use of the conjugate base of the acid catalyst, here H2O, as a base, regenerates H3O plus and gives us a neutral aldol addition product. Now under the reaction conditions with acid catalyst back around, this will spontaneously eliminate water to form the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl product. And although I won't draw the mechanism out in detail, we can write a few steps that get the gist across. The first step is protonation of the hydroxyl group by H3O plus. This turns OH into H2O plus, a good leaving group or nucleophage. That nucleophage can then depart to put a cation at the beta carbon. And from there, the conjugate base of the catalyst, H2O, deprotonates at the alpha carbon. And we might call this PT plus D sub E since this step also establishes the pi bond between the alpha and beta carbons, generates the product, and also regenerates the acid catalyst, H3O plus. So I encourage you to draw that out on your own, but the important point is that's unstoppable once we, once we reach the aldol addition product under acid catalyzed conditions. So universally, we get the condensation product when we run an aldol reaction under acid catalyzed conditions. And the reaction is thermodynamically controlled. This means that the more substituted enol intermediate will be involved and will end up with the more substituted alpha beta unsaturated ketone product.